Okay. So I've told you guys before that one of my weaknesses are when it comes to losing weight and um, health eating is bread. I love bread. Um, I like baked goods. So um, in, in this journey of, you know, becoming healthy and minding what I eat, I came across the keto diet. I'm not somebody that has ever been interested in diets. I usually just figure out what's a good thing for me to eat and what's bad for me to eat. But sugar and breads and big stuff, those are kind of my weaknesses. So I don't remember how I came across the keto diet, but when I came across this keto diet, I really got interested. And I will share with you um, my story when it comes to that. But uh, what I want to share with you is um, when it comes to bread, finding an alternate to bread is really something that I think to me has helped a lot. And every now and then I do still eat the, the normal usual kind of bread. But this is bread that we bake, uh, that I bake at home. My wife also will bake it at home. Uh, we can either use almond flour or we can use um, coconut flour and this is really really uh, helping out and so I just want to show you how you can make it I'm gonna be using almond flour in this particular recipe I like it it's really good So what I like about this bread is that it's not that hard to make it's really easy to make uh, you don't need a lot of ingredients I've tried different recipes, but I find this to be uh, easier to make. And um, what I like about the keto bread and me changing over to eating keto bread is because um, it helps. Like when you eat it, you feel like you are full and it will take you for some good time, unlike the usual bread. So all, I, all you need are eggs, almond flour, baking powder, salt. I don't know how they pronounce it. Start thumb gum, coconut oil, butter. I'll put a link to the recipe in case you guys want to check it out. Those are the ingredients we are going to need to make the bread. Okay, these girls here are on my case. I don't know how we are going to make this happen, but we are going to make it happen, right? They are going to help me because I want to show you guys. Or oh, let's say we want to show you guys, right? Yeah. Are you going to be good? So that we can show them how to make keto bread? Yeah. Okay, so first things first, we wash our hands, make sure they're clean. Okay, put your hands, Mama. Okay, rub, rub, rub. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to melt the butter because we keep this in the freezer. It's really hard. So we are going to melt it and let it cool down. You don't want to use it when it's hot. If you keep your butter at room temperature, then you don't need to do anything about it. So that's how it looks right now. I'm just gonna leave it to cool down a little bit. In the meantime, I'm gonna set the oven at 355. Now the first thing we are gonna do is we are gonna have to beat our eggs. And uh, for that, I'm gonna use, we have this mixer right here for about two minutes. We need seven eggs. Okay, I don't know how we are gonna do this, but I'm gonna see how I'm gonna get help here from these girls. And now it's time to beat these eggs. Yeah. So we beat the eggs for two minutes and that's how it looks like. Okay, so next we need half a cup of butter. So that's our half cup. Next we need two tablespoons of um, coconut oil. Okay, that's one. Okay, I'm gonna put it in there. And 
and then back to beating it. So the next thing we are going to need is almond flour, two cups of almond flour, so this is one cup, so you put in Mama. Okay, next we are gonna need a baking powder. Here we need one teaspoon. Since these girls are two, I'm gonna use half. So that's half. Now, Sanyo's, Sanyo's turn. Uh, Sanyo, you're not using that one. Okay, Sanyo, your turn. That's half. Good job. Okay, next we need, we need half teaspoon of this. So Sanyu is gonna do the half teaspoon. Good, now it's uh, Tendo's turn. Tendo is gonna do, we need a uh, half teaspoon of salt. So I'm just gonna use this salt, and Tendo is gonna help me make half teaspoon of salt. And then we just continue the beating. Okay, careful, careful, easy. easy. So right now, all we need is parchment paper that we are gonna put. Oh, this one is done. Okay, so, since you both want, so tender, you're gonna get this and start pouring it in. Easy, okay? Let me take this out of the way. Uh, Sanyu, don't open that. We are gonna pour this in here. Okay, easy, okay? As take, so you take your hands down. Um, okay, easy, 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 easy. Turn the hold, hold that, and then sign you. Oh, sign you have this. And then sign you do this. Are going to put it in the oven for 45 uh, minutes remember the oven is set at 355 the 45 minutes are up it's time to do the ready test they usually recommend a toothpick I personally prefer using a knife because it goes deep enough it's clean which means it's ready so this is how it came out and I'm gonna let it cool down and then I will slice it and show you the texture inside. Alright, let's slice this thing and see how it looks inside. There you go. That's the texture inside. So what I do, I just slice it into pieces so that uh, if someone wants a piece, they just take it. Oh, 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 oh,